So the next stage is that we have to cut the lenses and uh, this is the lens cutter. So we put the, this is the shape that we just created earlier on from the original lens that came out of the frame and that just fits on. It's quite firm but that will go on there and that will provide the shape that we need. We then need to attach we're going to start with the left lens and this is why we mark these up N and I've marked that up N so that we make sure that the, the lens is facing the right way. It's very important to do that because you can get confused and you end up sort of putting the lens in upside down so you've got to really think and uh, so that now is in, the lens is in and we just tighten that up so that that's held in nice and secure. So you've got the shape um, which is facing the nose is facing down and we've got the end facing down so we know that the lenses are in the right orientation. We now need to cut the lens so you turn the machine on first and then we lower the lens onto the machine Right, so um, once it's finished cutting the lens, you then undo the clamp and remove it. So now we have to do the other lens. So that, you can see, is the lens cut. That's the original, the one that we took out of the frame at the beginning. And they're a pretty reasonable match, so that's really good. So now we need to cut the other lens. So we have to turn that around as we're doing the other lens. We do the same with this, so it's now facing, everything's facing in the right direction. So we're going to do the same again, we're just going to cut that, and uh, that should be absolutely fine. You can see that it does it without too much mess. And it does it reasonably quickly, it just takes really about a minute or so. Even less than a minute to cut the lens. That's it. We turn it off. We take it off and then turn it off. And there we have the right lens is now cut. That one worked nicely. And we've got both the right lens and the left lens. So now we're going to have to put the groove onto the lenses. To do, to do that, we need to take the blocks off. So we use, this is a D-blocker um, pair of pliers. And uh, we can just remove the block there and remove that one as well. So now you've got the, both the lenses are ready to put on the groover. We can just double check at this stage to make sure that the lens is a pretty good fit and it seems that once it's been the groove has been put on it will it looks like it's going to fit quite nicely into the frame. So the next step is to put the groove onto the lens. So to do that we're going to just you don't need to worry too much about it being totally central. You literally just grab the lens uh, with the clamps. Now we do need a little bit of water for this just to um, make sure that this, there's a little bit of water just to help the cutting process work well. This, this determines the depth of the, the groove. It should alter the height that this sits on there. So we're going to keep it to about four for now and then these two grab the lens when it comes down. So what I would normally do 
to position the lens like that so it's held in there and just press this one and let it go round and then just make sure that the groove is fitting in the center of the lens. This is a very thin lens so we have to be a little bit careful and there will be times when it stops so you need to just help it by taking some of the weight off and I think that that's looking good. So I would then put a, a little bit of water on there again and then this time we're going to turn it round and we're going to So you can see how quickly that that's put the groove into the lens. Now I'm just going to... It's actually put the groove a little bit too far to the left, but we're going to try it anyway. And uh, just... That's fine. I think there was a part of the lens where it just hadn't cut it properly. So we've now got a lens which has got the groove in and that hopefully will fit nicely into the frame and it does. What you need to do now very very quickly is to put the safety bevel on which is um, what this machine is for here and again you want it to go around only once because it will, de it will deform the lens otherwise. So turn it round and I would just keep a finger on it so it doesn't get too heavy on there I would just do it exactly like that and that just takes the sharpness off the edge so that we end up with a nice safe lens we'll then put the lens in to the frame and hopefully it will fit like that okay so that's a reasonable fit and uh, we're going to do the other lens now so we've got that lens in there so this is the left lens that we're going to do so we do the same again we put the lens into the clamp bring it over and then I'm just going to let it do a couple of circuits. I think that it's, it's wanting to put the, um, the groove too close to the back surface. So I'm going to just use this to bring, I'm moving this, this that way a little bit so that it's actually pushing the groove further to the front. So this will take a little bit of experience, you just need to do it a few times and I think that that's in a good position now. So that has, that has put the, uh, the groove nicely in the centre of the lens. So, um, I'm happy with that. We're going to do the same on here. We're going to put a bit of water on there and then very quickly just let it go around once and then take it off. That's it. And that way you've got a nice lens that's already safety beveled. You've got a nice groove in there. So it's a thicker lens so they're a little bit easier to glaze and take that lens out. Normally I would use the nylon just to thread it through and pull it out but after a bit of practice you can do it without doing that. Okay so we get the uh, the ribbon and we can then stretch the nylon. This is why this system is a lot better it's because you can stretch the nylon you do, there's, there's a little bit more room for error and um, there we have your glasses. Now the distance between these two lines should match the PD which um, should be 62 millimeters or thereabouts. Remember that we decentered the lenses so we've got there and it's actually 
it's about 61 so but that's very good I mean that doesn't matter too much one millimeter is fine so what we're going to do now is I'm going to clean the lenses and then we're going to see what the prescription is to make sure that it's um, accurate to what we wanted so to clean the lens I use a little bit of uh, methylated spirits or something like that and that will get rid of the the ink marks and um, just dry that off and then we're going to I'm just going to measure it on the automatic lens meter just to see how accurate we were able to do that so this is an automatic lens meter and uh, you know you probably won't find too many of these in Africa um, certainly not in the rural areas but I'm just going to use this so that um, just to show you um, it, it also demonstrates the the different components of the lens quite nicely you've got the sphere the sill and the axis there on the screen so I'm going to put the this is the right lens and I'm just going to put that on and uh, so when it you get that nice sharp you know it's in the right place and let's look at the prescription there plus one two five minus one axis 45 absolutely spot on that's exactly what we wanted um, according to the prescription that we started with so the right lens we know is absolutely correct and now we look at the left lens actually what we can do just to show you is we can actually hold that and then we go to the left lens clamp it down and we can check the power there which is we'll get it nice and level this this platform behind just keeps it nice and level and we've got there plus 275 minus 075 axis it's about 172 so and we asked for 173 so we're one degree out on the left lens which is pretty good and the prescription is is absolutely spot on so there we've done it we've made up a pair of glasses um, and it takes the process takes about I suppose 10 or 15 minutes and uh, they're, they're very accurate